bringing a whole new solar technology to the market, which will revolutionize personal power. It doesn't use silicon at all, which is now a resource that's in very short supply. As you can see, it's very flexible, very thin. The technology is called dye-sensitized thin film. The, the back is a titanium foil. On top of that is put a coating of titanium oxide, and then there's a special dye printed on top of that, which is in a nanostructure. The material is cut into lanes, and a counter electrode is put over the top, and an electrolyte is injected in and we make it on a roll-to-roll -roll process. So this roll-to-roll -roll process makes production much cheaper, it makes it uh, much easier to make into different shapes. And of course you can see that the flexible nature means it can be put on clothing, it can be put into bags, hats, all sorts of applications. It's kind of machine washable, so it makes it a much, much more robust and usable material than traditional solar, which is usually glass-based. It's very, very fragile. So we have started by bringing it into the telecoms market, by making a range of phone chargers. This is wonderfully usable, it's almost indestructible. You can jump up and down on it, throw it, and it won't break. It's also got some very interesting properties. Here we have one actually charging a phone under an artificial light. Our material is incredibly sensitive to low light. It's got no lower threshold. As soon as there's any light, it will begin charging. Our chargers start working at six o'clock in the morning. As soon as the sun comes up, they start generating electricity right until it gets dark at night. Whereas most chargers, until the sun's high in the sky, they won't start working. So that actually gives you a high yield of energy. Do you find silicon solar will work very well if it's directed at the sun and it's kept cool? But that's not what actually happens when people use things. They'll slap it down on a table and expect it to work. With our material, it does work. It also takes light from an from incident angle and still converts it into energy. Its energy payback time is much, much lower than silicon. Unfortunately, although it's a renewable energy source, silicon cells can take years to give you the energy payback. That means to get back the energy you put in to manufacture them. With our material, it's measured in months. So again, it's much more sustainable in terms of, in terms of uh, energy usage. This is completely new. The technology was actually developed in the laboratory about 18 years ago, but it's only been commercialized and put into mass production in the last year. This particular sample is designed to charge basic phones, and then we can also link it with a battery pack and different phone connectors and then it can charge almost any small electronic device. The applications go much further than just basic mobile phones. We're looking at charging pay phones, Wi-Fi or WiMAX access points. One of the things we've tried to do is actually focus our initial products on the developing world and the two billion people who have no alternative power. This device now is going out into Africa, into South Asia, into South America because this is really where the market is. So we've seen it more. This is a functional item that's, that's powering you know, those people who don't have any power at all. It's not just a sort of a gadget for, for, for those who you know, have power anyway. Typically, one of these chargers will take about four to five hours to charge an average phone. As users will use it. For instance, an hour of charging will give 20 minutes talk time. For most rural phone users, that's more than enough. And even you'll find when it's overcast, and you've got a completely dead phone, it will give it enough power so you can make calls, you can use the phone. We're expecting it will retail for around about $25 for the basic unit. Because of its nature, it's flexible, we can, we can do lots of things with it. So we're now experimenting with putting it into bags, into clothing, into hats. The applications are endless. I think we've identified about 600 products that we could make with this. A fixed wireless phone. We provide a slightly bigger panel for that because it's on very heavy usage is empowering telecoms infrastructure. So we're now seeing a sort of revolution in wireless technology, WiMAX, broadband, internet going out, particularly in developing countries. With a solar solution, you don't need to wire it in anywhere. If you have power issues with power outages, you know, that's a problem. With ours, it's completely autonomous. The transmitter goes in with a solar power solution and you can forget about it.